Hello and welcome to Modelling Misadventures. And today, back on with the Chris Craft Corvette conversion. Now in the last video, we got the propeller, rudder and electrical setup installed. So now it's time to do some more work on the superstructure. And I'm gonna uh, try to modify the roof of this section so that it looks a bit more like a Chris Craft Corvette compared to the Aeronaut Victoria. So that's going to be fun because it's going to involve quite a bit of scratch building. Now the instructions for this boat have you making the superstructure from the back and working forward towards the roof. But I'm going to do it the other direction. I'm going to start working on this front roof section first and then work backwards. I just think that'll work a bit better. So I'm just going to start by building these roof supports here. I need a bit of a filler on here, so I'm just going to put a strip of balsa on there. Now this is the flat roof that's supplied with the kit, uh, thin plywood. Um, I'm not going to use that, I'm going to make another one out of balsa. Well, I thought this had turned out okay. We've got a problem. Great big gap at the front. Uh-oh. Time for plan B. Right, I'm gonna glue this big block on the front and carve it to shape. So I've been working on sanding and shaping this roof and this is what you can compare it to. So that was the original and I think this is looking a lot better. So I think that's going to be a much nicer shape once I've sealed it and sanded it some more. So I am pretty happy with how that is looking. Now the next bit of this boat is to work on these side pieces of the superstructure. Now in the original, these just get fastened in and uh, the floors glued in between them. But if you look at this picture of a Chris Craft Corvette, um, there's a white border running down the side of the cabin. And also the upper windows are inset a little bit. So I'm going to uh, alter this with a bit of cutting and balsa wood and hopefully try to make it look a bit more realistic. So I've gone from that to that. Um, so a bit of modification, but nothing too drastic at this stage. And now I'm going to line that with some Balsa wood, like that. Bit of a cock up here. Measure twice, cut once. I've cut it too small, so I have to cut another piece and I'm gonna to have to glue that on there. And then this other piece here is gonna be glued next to that as a sort of a little overhang. So I've made two sets of these and they're just gonna go in there like that and should look pretty good when they get sanded down. It's looking better. Now on the Aeronaut Victoria, they give you this floor, which actually goes in here, more or less all the way to the back. Um, I'm not gonna use all of that. In the Corvette, there was a, uh, a cabin area here, then a roof in the middle and another cabin area at the back. So I'm gonna cut a section out of this for the front um, driver's section. 
and then make a separate roof for this bit. Well, that's the floor. All right, let's see if we can put all this together. Now, I don't want any glue to stick to the side here, so I'll put some cling film on. Well, that's the uh, interior section, including the roof. So now I'm gonna put a floor onto this bit. So this is my roof insert, joined together. A little bit of flooring there. And the next bit is to put a roof along this bit here. That's gotta be scratch built. It wasn't part of the original model. So I've just put three roof supports on there and then the roof, the new roof is going to go on here like that. There we are. Well, I've spent quite a bit of time on this. It's uh, mainly scratch built in the end, most of it out of balsa, uh, but that is the new upper cabin insert uh, with the two roofs and the two seating areas and uh, pretty happy with how that's come out. Now it's time to start the fairly laborious task of sealing this, sanding it, priming it, painting it, varnishing it and hopefully we'll get a reasonable finish. Now I'm going to use the tried and tested method to seal this balsa wood and that's a mixture of dope and talcum powder and I showed this in uh, episode three of this build series so I won't go into a lot of detail on it, just going to get it done, get it sanded. Well, that's looking a right mess. Um, bit of sanding and hopefully it'll come good. So it's looking a lot better. Uh, sanded it off. Now it's time for some filler primer. All right, this is after the first coat of primer. Now a lot of it looks okay, but you can see there are bits showing through that haven't sealed properly. Now I'm not gonna use the dope to seal those. I'm gonna make a little bit of wood filler out of this and try and fill that grain in. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, filled and sanded. Time for second coat of filler primer. Well, it's looking a lot better, but it's still not there. You can still see some defects in this, so Back to some more filler. Well, here we go again. Well, I think that's done the trick. Got rid of all the grain. So I'm gonna leave that to dry for a bit and then sand it smooth. Okay, next up is the flat white primer. This is after a couple of coats of white primer. Again, it really shows my uh, deficiencies in doing good paint jobs, but I'm gonna press on. So I'm going to give this a, uh, a light sanding. Then I'm going to put the top coat on with the blossom light that I used on the hull. Right, I'm just uh, spraying the underside first before I do the final finish on the top. Well, the white paint has dried and it is fairly unimpressive. Um, you can see it's not smooth at all. Now, I'm not sure how to correct this. Uh, I'm not going to keep sanding it down and respraying it. So I'm actually going to put the clear coat on top, a few coats of that, and then I'll sand the clear coat down and try and polish it smooth. 
Look at this. This is what I've got to put up with spraying outside. I have to wait for that to dry now before I can get that off. Well, first couple of coats of clear coat and it's still looking awful. Uh, I'm gonna give it a quick sand, put some more coats on and uh, keep going. Well, it's getting better each time I do this, but it's still, uh, still a bit orange peely. So again, another sand, another few coats. I think then I'm gonna have a go at polishing it up. This is actually starting to look a lot better now. So I'm hoping with a few more coats of clear coat, I might even get a shiny finish. Well, this part is getting better and better. The paint, well, it's not looking too bad. I'm gonna still give it a uh, fine sanding and a polish. Um, I've had to do some modifications. I've uh, shortened this roof here. I'm gonna to have to extend this section back. This uh, driver's section here wasn't big enough. So a bit of modification there, but it's coming on and uh, getting close to being finished, I think. Well, I'm finally getting there with this. I've uh, sanded it all down, very fine grit sandpaper and got rid of all the orange peel. It's going to need polishing, but before I do that, I'm just going to finish off around these seating areas and then it'll be done. Well, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking now. Got the two seating sections uh, at the rear and then for the drivers. Finish isn't looking too bad. Uh, yeah, pretty happy. The last part of this roof section is to work on this windshield here. Now it's gonna have to be modified because it's uh, now a completely different shape. Now I've got these windshields on, but you can see they're now in set. On the original boat, they would have been level with the outside of this superstructure, but they're now in set, which means that the windows here are going to be too wide. Now, this is just a dry fit of these. And uh, again, they're too big, going to need cutting down and shaping to get them to fit. So this is what I've done for the front windshield section. I've had to shorten it in this direction and shorten it sideways as well so when i glue it all back together it's going to be quite a bit smaller well i got there in the end and it's uh not looking too bad still a bit of work to do on the outside of this boat but uh, i'm pretty pleased with how it's looking so far so i think that's enough for today uh, in the next video, I'm going to carry on with more work on the interior and on the exterior. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.